All right, boys and girls, we are ready for math and we are gonna compare some more numbers today. Today, they did not write letters on our counters, so we can just look at the light ones and the dark ones. Or if you still want to use some of your own counters to show different colors, you can do that. All right, so up here by the red apple, they wanna know how many counters are in each set. So we're gonna to touch and count to make sure we keep our place. One, two, three. Write your three. Let's check the next set. One, two. Write a two. And today they want us to decide which group has less. Yesterday we wanted the group that had more or that was greater. Today we want the group that has less. That means it is smaller. So I can look and tell this group is smaller. Also, I know that the number two is less or smaller than the number three, because when I'm counting, I say one, two, then three. Two comes first, that means it's a smaller number. All right, down here by the sun, let's check another group. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna write a five. Make his hat, make his back, make five's tummy round and fat. And let's check our next group. One, two, three, four. Down and over, down once more. All right, which group is less or is smaller? Yes, four is less than five. All right, pick up your page and turn it. All right, by the apple, the directions say, mark under the number that is less than the counters. So first we need to check the counters. I can't just look up there and guess what it is. I need to know for sure. One, two, three. So I want a number that is less or smaller than three. Is two smaller than three? It is, so fill in that answer. This one says three, that would be the same. There's four, four is more than three or greater, and five is more or greater. So two is less than three, all right, down here we know what to do. They want us to trace the number around a tree, around a tree. They want us to find that number. So this is three. I need to find three counters. And then I'm going to mark three spaces on the frame and color them in. We've been doing this so we know what to do. Then down here by the leaf, they want us to count the birds in the bird cage and mark our answer. One, two, three, four, five. So you need to find the number five. All right, boys and girls, just a few more days and we'll be back at school working together. We'll have some different activities for math because we have our math workbooks in here now. So that will be different for you. So hang in there with me. Just a few more days working on these numbers.